I'm Melissa Libertini. I'm an artist here at the Foundry in Chambersburg, Pennsylvania. I work in oils, acrylic, watercolor. Today we're going to be working on uh, a layered painting. So I started out with my base layer. Nothing that we're going to do has to, has to have perfection to it. So don't worry about how your base layer looks. Mine has a little bit of red on one side and orange on the other. So as each of these layers dry, um, you'll be able to see the progress of the painting. It's going to have four total layers. So let's get started. A little bit of green and a little bit of yellow. And we're going to be doing thin layers on this. So I have my water on the side as well as some larger brushes. So all I'm going to do is just put a little bit of color down and then I will use the water and the paintbrush to move it around. So I just want to get it a little bit loose. I'm going to go ahead and use saran wrap. What you want to do is when you take the saran wrap off, crunch it up a little bit. You want to make sure that you've got a lot of texture and wrinkles into the saran wrap. We're just going to lay it out, get my next piece, crunch it up, lay it out, and we'll just get one more. So the way that I have it laid down, you can see that there is some texture already starting to form. All you would need to do if you want to create more is just slide your hand around and you can see new lines starting to form. So what you want to do is let this start drying a little bit because you want to make sure that the plastic grabs some of that paint off. Uh, so once this dries, we'll move on to layer three. So I waited about five minutes and then I pulled the plastic slowly off. Um, I think it turned out kind of cool the way it is. So what I did was I took some blue paint and some red paint and I added water to it to make it a little bit thin. And then I'm just going to pick some of my favorite birds and lay them out onto the canvas. I'm going to paint them in. In my mind, this painting is coming from my right side to the left, so it's going to be a tree with uh, a bird on the branch. So I'm going to go ahead and paint in a couple of birds. Um, just uh, a little tidbit, it is a little more pleasing if they are an odd number. So I am just going to paint in some birds, again knowing that my tree trunk is going to be on the right and the branches will be on the left. So we've got the blue bird, and again, you can see that it went through, but that's okay, part of the fun. So I am going to do a red bird, and let's do the red down here. So once I do this, we're going to give this a chance to dry, and then we will do layer four on top. So for this final layer, I'm using a light ivory color and I mixed it with water so that I have a nice loose liquid that I can work with. Uh, we're going to put a light layer down and I, again, I know that my tree trunk is going to be on the right side. I'm going to have branches coming over and right here just off the center, I'm going to have the bird. So I'm going to start with my bird first and put him in place and then paint my branches around him. So you can see through the first layer to all the under layers. So that's exactly what we want to happen. So right now I'm just forming in the head of the bird and I'm going to have some branches off to the side. We're going to be doing some negative space painting. So I'm going to just layer things through. And right now I'm going over one of the birds that I've already put in. So I'm just going to do a little branch coming up here at top. Once I have my branches laid in, then I'll go ahead and fill in the rest. Again, we're going over top of the birds that were already there. I'm going to have my trunk over here. 
And then all I'm going to do is color in a little bit of the rest. As I'm doing this, I am also looking at how I did my painting to see if I want to add in any more branches. I think I'm just going to leave it the way that it is. I do like the texture that is peeking through the background. So it's just a little experiment to see what you can create as you add layers. The, my bird is looking a little bit like a chicken, but you know what? It's okay, it's my bird. And with my layers, you can see the other birds that are underneath. You can see the textures from layers one and two. I've got my birds. I've got my bird on top. So on a Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, if you are in the Chambersburg area, come out and see myself, the other artists that are here at the gallery. We have over 25 artists. We have almost any kind of painting, drawing, artwork that you can actually think of. The Foundry Gallery at Chambersburg. Thank you very much.